Good morning, good morning, good morning. YouTube, Big H Trucking. So what we're gonna do today is I just picked up a 43,240 pound load. I'm gonna go get weight. It's the old cat scale. My gauges say that I'm correct. But just to be sure, I want to get weighed by an official scale. It's called a CAT scale. So I'm going to run through the process and how Big H trucking works to scale. And like everybody else's season, works to scale. So we're going to stop over here at this quick, quick, uh, what's it called? Quick, quick whatever. It's quick something. Anyway, it's a little less trafficy than Pilot, which is on the other side. I don't really need fuel right now. Um, go ahead, brother. You can do it. You can do it. Don't be scared. Remember, trucks got to turn wide. Remember, turn wide, folks. This way you don't rip nothing apart. A quick start. There's a thing called quick stop. Get to the scale. That's always a mystery. Looks like it's this one. There's a quick stop and a quick star. They're both run by the same entity. I, I've stopped in these before, and the food is a lot better than Pilot, TA, so on and so forth. All right, so we're going to go scale it up. Hope everybody's doing good, staying safe, making good decisions. And by the way, look at this guy. He decides to just come on in, brother. That's right. Cut me off. So anyway, my week this week, last week I had the best week I've ever had, over $6,000. This week, the absolute worst week I've ever had. $2,300 is my final tally. I'm not bitter. These things happen. It's the way the loads fell. All right, anyway, so enough of that. So what you want to do is line yourself up. As good as possible, as straight as possible. You want to get all your, your tires on the scale. All right, I'm on the scale. No brakes, folks. Neutral. 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 The N. Neutral. So what I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to hit this button. Right here. Somebody's going to answer the phone. Hey there, first day of relay. It's the first way. What's your truck number? Seven one one zero nine five. I want to get you south. We'll see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go park the car. Uh, the car. Park the truck somewhere. I have no idea where, but we'll figure it out. Remember, guys, gals, get on that scale. All the wheels. Make sure your drives, your tri your tandems, and your steer tires are on that scale. And stay in neutral. No no brakes. No foot brake, no air brakes. Now I gotta figure out a place to park this machine.
back around. So anyway, let's get back to my week. Horrible. Horrible week. I, I don't have enough adjectives to explain how terrible this week was. Now, partly it's my fault. And I'm still learning, guys. You know, I've only been doing this for four months. Um, I shouldn't have taken the trip out of Atlanta to, to Iowa. It was only 1,020 miles. That took three days. That screwed me up. That absolutely screwed me up. I'm going to go back in. Yeah, that, that hurt. That, that really... You know, the pay was decent. But my thinking was... And I'm running out of time, too. But my thinking was uh, that I'm going to get another load. Just remember, go wide. I'm going to get another load, maybe like Illinois or something, Ohio. Because loads coming out of Iowa do pay good. And, uh, and I would have another, another load for the pay period ending with ending Wednesday. Uh, that didn't happen. So, um, yeah, this load, I got a, it's a two-stop load, picking up, uh, it's a meat load, picking up in Iowa and going to upstate New York and Maine. 1,300 miles is the total tally of the load. You have six hours and thirty-seven minutes of remaining drive time. And uh, this load is a is a winner. Just it's grossing thirty-nine seventy-five. The line on this is thirty thirty-four. I get I get a stipend because it's a two-stop load of one hundred and ninety. Four hundred dollars in fuel. And only seventy dollars in tolls, so I'm I'm happy with that, and that's what's going to happen, guys. And the reason why I'm bringing this up to you because a I'm truthful, and b you're going to have some bad weeks. I'm not mad at anybody. It's not crimes fault. It just so happens that's the way it is. So I don't look, again, in one of my videos I mentioned, I don't look at week to week. I look at month to month and quarter to quarter. So anyway, I'm gonna run in and I'll pop out and we'll review my scale, see if I have to make any adjustments. Please like and subscribe. This is quick star, quick stop. Look, you got frozen pizzas. You ain't getting this out of TA. Ice cream, oats, little hot pockets. Well, I never see this at TA. Sodas. Place is dope. Look at bananas. I'm gonna get me a banana. Gonna have the fruit, folks. Plums, onions, apricots. Banana, ATMs, wine. If you guys drink, I wouldn't drink and drive. A truck. Look at this. Look at this. This is. Look at this. This is fat boys. Oh yeah, I have to get some fat boy treats. Yep, 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 yep. Do you think you can make better barbecue ribs than uh, quick? 
the star. Look at that bacon, folks. Look at this place. Come on, you never get to set a TA meats. Salads, oranges, lemons, lemons. Oh yeah, this place is dope. Alright, all right, folks, we'll be back at you as soon as I get the scale ticket. Alright, YouTube, I'm back. So here's the deal. Steer ties 11, um, 11,620, drives to 3340. Trailer axle 31. 840. I'm in the tenth hole and we're going to slide it up to the ninth. Come along with me. So we're gonna come up one. Pull this button. Now slide in. I just gotta come up one hole to the ninth. Because remember, I got to get fuel. Don't forget that fuel weighs eight pounds per gallon. That's right, eight pounds per gallon. So at 33.40, I can't get much fuel. Well, I can. I can get. 60 times 8, 4. I, I'm going to stay with like 60 gallons. So, all right, let's move this. Let's, let's move them. Flashlight. So let's count these holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's Big H trucking. Nails it. One hole. So each hole represents 500 pounds. So I just took 500 pounds off the 33,000. I added the 500 to my trailer so I went from taking the 33,000 off the drives and I put it to the trailer so the further up you slide your tandems, I mean towards the driver, there's more weight on the trailer. The further back, more weight goes on your drives. All right, YouTube, that's it. Great day, stay safe. I got to run. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Big H.